What's meant by specific heat? Specific heat is the amount of heat energy needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius. Let's talk about chemical properties of water. Weakness of water ionization. As you can see from this video, this is the neutral water. When it passes between two electrodes, it will change into a negative hydroxide ion and the positive hydrogen ion. What's meant by ionization? It is the process of converting the molecules of some covalent molecules into ions. Weakness of water ionization. When water is ionized, it gives positive hydrogen ion and the negative hydroxide ion. One molecule of water, when it is ionized, it gives one positive hydrogen ion plus one negative hydroxide ion. The next property is water has neutral effect on litmus paper. As you can see from this video, water has neutral effect on litmus paper, whether it is blue or red. And this is an important give reason question. This is because water gives equal number of positive hydrogen ions, which are responsible for the acidic property and the negative hydroxide ions which are responsible for the basic property. Resistance of water to decomposition. Water doesn't decompose into its elements which are oxygen and hydrogen easily. This property helps to keep the aqua solutions inside the cells of living organisms. Water electrolysis. Electrolysis of water means decomposition of water into its elements. As you can see, if we have two molecules of water, and by using electrolysis, water will be decomposed into two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen molecule. The operators that will be used to do the electrolysis of water is called Hoffman voltmeter. This is the Hoffman voltmeter. It is an apparatus used for the electrolysis of acidified water by using a battery. And the Hoffman voltmeter we can carry out the electrolysis of water. This bubbles represents gases of hydrogen and oxygen. In Hoffman voltmeter, oxygen gas evolves at the anode, and hydrogen gas evolves at cathode. This is because oxygen is negative, so it will be attracted to the anode, which is positive. While hydrogen is positive, so it will be attracted toward cathode, because cathode is negative. This space represents the volume of oxygen, while this space represents the volume of hydrogen. And as you can see, the volume of hydrogen is twice the volume of oxygen. The ratio between the produced hydrogen gas and the oxygen gas is about 2 to 1. So the volume of hydrogen gas equals 2 times the volume of oxygen gas. Detection of the produced gases. We can collect the gas which is produced at the cathode in a tube and we will collect the gas which is evolved at the anode in another tube and we will test for the two gases and we can identify each gas from its properties. As you can see from this video, by approaching a burning match to it, it will burn with a pop sound, so it is a hydrogen gas.
by putting a flame in it, it will glow more. The gas which helps in burning is oxygen. So the gas which is evolved at the anode is oxygen, while the gas which evolves at the cathode is hydrogen. Give reason for we add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid H2SO4 to water during its electrolysis by Hoffman's voltmeter. This is because pure water is a bad conductor of electricity, but acidified water conducts electricity. Give reason for during electrolysis of acidified water by Hoffman's voltmeter. Oxygen gas evolved at the anode, while hydrogen gas evolves at the cathode. This is because oxygen ions are negatively charged, so oxygen gas evolves at the anode, while hydrogen ions are positively charged, so hydrogen gas evolves at the cathode. Water pollution. It is the addition of any substance to water which causes continuous gradual change in water properties and affecting the health and the life of living creatures. Water pollutants. Water pollutants are divided into natural water pollutants, artificial pollutants. Natural water pollutants such as volcanic eruption. This will cause the increase of the temperature of water and hence the death of marine creatures. Death of living creatures. This will change the structure of water. Finally, lightning accompanying thunderstorms. Because thunder and lightning have very high temperature which can break the bonds between nitrogen and oxygen and this will form nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide and nitrogen monoxide will combine with the water of rains forming nitric acid and this what is called by acidic rains. Also this will change the structure of water. What about Artificial pollutants. Artificial pollutants, they arise from different human activities and they are classified into four classes or groups. Artificial pollutants. The first one is biological pollution, chemical pollution, thermal pollution, and finally radiant pollution. Biological pollution, its causes, mixing animals and the human wastes with water, as you can see from this image, its harms. It causes many diseases, such as Valheresia, typhoid, and hepatitis. The second type is chemical pollution, its causes, discharging of factories' wastes in seas, rivers, and canals. Its harms, eating fish which contain high concentration of lead causes the death of the brain cells. Increasing the mercury concentration in drinking water causes blindness. Arsenic increases the infection rate by liver cancer. The third type is thermal pollution. Its causes increasing the temperature of some water areas used in cooling the nuclear reactors. Its harms death of marine creatures. This is due to the separation of dissolved oxygen from water. The final type of artificial pollution is radiant pollution. Its causes Lockage of radioactive materials from nuclear reactors. Damping of the atomic wastes in oceans and seas.
Note the following. The nuclear reactors cause both of thermal and radiant pollutions. How can we protect water from pollution? First, preventing of getting rid of sewage, wastes of factories, and dead animals in rivers or canals. Second, developing the stations of water purification and do a periodical analysis to water used in drinking. Third, disinfection, cleaning of the drinking water tanks which are found on the roofs of building in a periodical manner. Fourth, don't store the tap water in empty plastic bottles. This is because plastic reacts with chlorine gas which is used in water as a water disinfectant leading to the increase in the infection rates by cancer. Finally, spreading environmental awareness among people to protect water from pollution. Thanks for watching. This is the end of lesson 4.